What's up, everybody? Welcome to some Admiral Beckett Ghost Ship. I hope you're excited to steal some stuff. Well, actually, excuse me, strategically acquire it. Uh, but as far as opening hand, yeah, I didn't like the the uh, opening hand, so we went in Mulligan. Um, but as far as this one goes, I guess if we want to hope to draw into a black source. Outside of that, I'm just, man, I'm just not wild. Let's go one more Mulligan. Temple of Deceit. Yeah, I guess we'll keep on that. We have Night's Whisper. We had another land off that. We'll keep on this one. Let's see what we draw into. Let's go ahead and put that on the bottom. I'm just going to lead off with the Temple of Malice. Get another Scry going. So hopefully it's a land. Let's go and put that one on the bottom too. Anything else, we're going to go and pass the turn. Uh, we are playing Admiral Beckett. Other pirates, other pirates you control get plus one, plus one. Then at the beginning of your instep, gain control of target non-land permanent. Uh, controlled by a player who's dealt combat damage by three or more pirates this turn. Let's see. Oh, beautiful. We hit the underground sea. Uh, let's go and get that down. Let's go. Do we want to go for Knight's Whisper? I think that's, yeah, let's go for Night's Whisper. We need to get the card draw going. That was a good draw off the top. I'll take that. Shivian Reef and then another sword. Okay. Anything else? We're going to go pass the turn. Uh, we are playing against Omnath. Locus of Mana. Green Mana does not empty from your Mana Pool as steps and faces in. Then Omnath gets plus one, plus one for each green Mana in your Mana Pool. Our opponent's getting down a Utopia Sprawl on their four, so that we're going to be able to uh, untap it with the uh, Arbor Elf and get down Omnath. So hopefully... Uh, we're not going to be dead to a bunch of green mana, but hey, we'll have some fun. It's been a long time since I've played against Omnath, so I'm actually pretty excited about this match. And fun fact, actually I'll cover that in a sec. Um, Drawn to Damnation, I will take that. Let's go ahead and get down the reef. I guess. If we want to go Protection from Black and Green, we could get, down, could get down Sword of Feast and Famine. Let's go ahead and get down Sword of Feast and Famine, just in case we draw into another land next turn. Uh... Might end up going for Damnation, just to kind of do a little bit of reset on Omnath and get rid of that Arbor Elf on tapping that Utopia Sprawl. It's going to be a pretty nice chunk of mana over there. Uh, but yeah, fun fact, uh, Omnath was my very first commander that I ever built, and so it's uh, Omnath always has a special place in my heart. In fact, that reminds me, I need to... Uh... I need to build Omnath for my channel. Um, but yeah, so our opponent goes for the, the Arbor Elf untap, so they've got 8 mana down right now. And it's legendary and has hexproof. Okay, hopefully we draw into that land. Let's see if we hit the fourth land drop for the turn. And then we'll be able to, uh, each player, well, yeah, I'd love to do that. Sounds like a plan. Yes, definitely love to use that ability. Now, that puts him at three cards left in hand. Uh, let's go ahead and grab Swamp, and let's go ahead and grab uh, Island. All right, untap off that, and then Arcane Adaption. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and go for Damnation. I like that. We can go Damnation, and then we can still go get down the uh, the Reef and get down the uh, Triton Shore Stalker. All right, get down the, the uh, Triton Shores. Man, I just forgot how to say that name for a second. That's what kind of stumbled out the gate. Uh, get that down, and then anything else, we're going to go and pass the turn. Now, we did draw into Arcane Adaption, which is absolutely wonderful. Um, we are running Pirates in here, but um, we actually have more unblockable creatures than we do Pirates, just because... Um, I found in that having pirates on the battlefield, it was nice to get those triggers going, uh, but there's just some times where um, you just want to go value with stuff like Sword of Fire and Ice and Sword of Feast and Famine on your unblockable creatures to really start swinging in. Alright, opponent gets down the Miscutter Hydra. Can't be countered, protection from blue, enters the battlefield, X counters on it. Alright, and then Drowned Catacomb. So that's just going to stop us from swinging in. That's a 5-5 on the battlefield. Uh, let's go and get the Drowned Catacombs down. And we have six total mana. So if we go Sword of Feast and Famine, equip for two, get down another sword, we can tap that. And the second main phase, we'll have a little bit extra mana. Yeah, sounds good. Let's go for Sword of Feast and Famine. Let's get that down. Let's go for the Sword of Fire and Eyes. And then unfortunately, we don't have enough mana for that, but we'll still be able to swing in and get that untapped clause. All right, pushing in for three is going to put our opponent down to 27. And then we just need one more pirate. Well, actually, we can just cast Admiral Beckett, too, if we need to get that down for the Arcane Adaption. All right, untap our lands, they get rid of Fond of Mythos, and that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think at this point, let's get down to the Deceiver. We get that down, swing in for sure. That's going to be another creature we can go for Arcane Adaption. Yeah, I think I do like that. Let's get down to the Deceiver, and we can actually go and put the Greaves on there too. I mean, the Sword of Fire and Ice. Let's go and equip that on there. Well, if we want to, we could equip it onto the Triton Shore Stalker. Yeah, let's go and put on the, the Shore Stalker. And then next turn, if we want to switch it around, we'll go for that. Oh, excuse me, I accidentally clicked on it, so it's going to go on there anyway. We'll decide if we want to go for that next turn. Uh, but yeah, so this deck pretty much revolves around hopefully finding something like Arcane Adaption, or getting down Conspiracy, or uh, Xenograft. I think that's what it's called. And once we get that down, 
Uh, that kind of allows us to start gaining control of a bunch of stuff. Uh, you know, if we had an extra pirate out there and Admiral Beckett, we'd be able to swing in with that shadow. Our opponent has no shadow creatures out there. Uh, so we'd be able to push in and uh, start gaining control of some stuff. So, but it does have Hexproof, so we're not going to be able to gain control, of it off, uh, gain control of it off of Admiral Beckett. All right, so it's going to get the Marsh Flats down. And we can still get down Admiral Beckett and put the Sword of Fire and Ice on something. Or if we want to leave it on that creature. We can gain control of the Miscutter Hydra. Actually, I don't know if we'll still be able to gain control of it with protection from blue. We'll see about that one. Okay, so let's go ahead and get down. Let's go ahead and crack the Marsh Flats. Let's go ahead and grab something that doesn't come into play tapped. Let's grab that Badlands. Let's go for Admiral Beckett. It's going to be 1, 2. And then we can also get down the Arcane Adaption. Naming Pirate on this one. There we go. And let's go and push in. That's going to be 8 coming across. And we'll get an untapped step. And if we have to block with Admiral Beckett on Omnath, we can definitely go for that. Yeah, let's just go and push in. Alright. Pushing in. Yeah, we cannot target with that. So we're not going to gain control. Uh, you may sacrifice if you do gain control target creature. Yeah, we cannot target that one. So we'll just target Admiral Beckett, and then uh, we're not going to... Uh, no, not going to sacrifice it. No, we're good. All right, push in for eight. It's going to put our opponent down to 19. We're going to have both triggers. We'll get that extra card draw off Sword of Fire and Ice, and I think at this point we'll just go and deal that two damage up top. So that'll put him down to 17. Drawn to Xenograft. Okay, there we go. I got the extra ones. We need to get that down as a little bit of backup because we are playing against Mono Green. Um, and in fact, we'll just go and slam it down right now. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or, protection from blue. If we want to stop Omnath, we can actually kind of shift the, the different swords over onto Admiral Beckett. To kind of stop Omnath. They will be able to uh, tap out for a pretty big chunk of mana. So I think at this point... Yeah, we'll probably just go and get down Xenograph, just in case something happens to it next turn. Just because we could put the, the Lightning Greaves on there, but either way, we're going to we're gonna lose... Um, there we go, it's named Pirate on this one. All right, anything else, we're going to go and pass the turn. So they're going to be able to swing in for five. Yeah, they're going to tap a bunch of mana, so more than likely we're just going to chump block on Omnath and Admiral Beckett because um, protection from blue is not really going to do us any good with the uh, the Deceit. Ooh, Bear Umbra. Okay. And it is a 7-7 seven, seven now with Totem Armor. So that will be seven coming across, and then we still have uh, Admiral Beckett blocking on Omnath. But you can see where Omnath has some pretty explosive hands like this. Untap all hands. <laughs> Love it. And then Omnat does not have Trample. No, that is correct. No Trample. Okay. I'm just going to chump block on Admiral Beckett. And if we have to do that again, we can. If we need to leave up something, um, hopefully we draw into one of our uh, non-blue creatures to chump block on um, the Miscutter Hydra. That would be a good thing that we can do to get that going. All right, we draw into Dark... Ooh, Dark Confidant? That is something. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And in fact, let's go ahead and get down Admiral Beckett on our main phase. And we can cast Dark Confidant on the back end. It's going to be 1, 2, 3... Tap out for one. Oh, there we go. And then we can't add that at last mana. All right, so going to push in for eight. And we'll still have that last two damage to deal up top. We'll be, in, we'll be close to a little race on this. We'll see what they have. And then gain control of Admiral Beckett again. And then we'll not sacrifice it. Nope, we're good. Okay, get our untapped trigger. Do the two damage up top. We'll draw a card. So now, if we can at least chunk block with Admiral Beckett and the uh, Dark Confidant on the back end, uh, then we mo should be able to close it out next turn. Let's get down the Volcanic Island. Let's go for Dark Confidant. That way we can uh, chunk block on the Miscutter Hydra. It doesn't have Trample. And then Admiral Beckett again can block on Omnath Locus of uh, a Mana over there. Hopefully that'll be good. But you can see where, um, you know, if you had a lot of pirates in here, it might be kind of a weird board state for us to kind of swing into. Uh, if you get a bunch of these unblockable creatures, uh, it really allows you to kind of just push in that nice value win with some sort of fire and ice and sort of feast and fame and stuff. All right, untap all their lands. And they still only have one card in hand, so we'll see if they're going to cast now. <laughs> That's a ton of mana. 33 Omnath. Let's go. Dark Confidant on the Miscutter Hydra. Admiral Beckett on Omnath. Chump block right there, and that puts him at seven, and that'll be six with the Sword of Fire and Ice trigger, I think. That's going to be in Admiral Beckett's four, six, eight. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll actually have just enough to get it down next turn. They get down the Miscutter Hydra, create X Hydra tokens, and like, yeah, I think we're going to have it on this one because they have zero cards in hand. All right, 
He's pretty close on that one. It's always nice to get an uh, outrace win for him, uh, Omnath, when it's that big. Now, they do go for the Monstrosity for X, and they're going to create X11 Green Hydra creature tokens. Um, the Triton Shore Stalker can't be blocked, and then the um, Deceiver has a Shadow. Can only be blocked by creatures with Shadow. Uh, so I think we're going to be in a good spot to kind of close this one out. All right. See all those? <laughs> oh, love it. All those triggers on the battlefield, all those creatures. Okay. And then John's a Scalding Tarn. So we'll go ahead and get that down. Um, once again, we're pushing in for six. Make sure we're not missing anything. Pushing in for six. And then the two damage up top should be enough to close it out. Let's go and push in. I'll take it. All right, coming in hot. And it always feels good to uh, close the game out with a Triton Shore Stalker. When staring down a whole bunch of Hydras. We'll kind of choose that Hydra cutter over there. And we're not going to sacrifice it, no. We are good. Alright, we're going to deal that 6, going to put him down to 1 with that Sword of Fire and Ice Trigger on the stack. Oh, ho, ho, yes, getting it done. But yeah, you can see where that's just, um, you know, I, I did originally have a lot of pirates in the deck, but I just found that the pirates weren't enough to kind of push in that damage through, and you can just really put in some really good work with the different sword pieces in there, or any sort of Voltron pieces you're really going to run with Admiral Beckett. So, alright everybody, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks, bye.